Um, my name is Sophie Wang, and I'm a seventh grader. So imagine you're having some friends over for dinner, and you, uh, you're cooking in the kitchen, and you leave the room to go talk to your friends. So um, in the US, 90% of the 126 million households have a stove. And um, according to Wallflower, unattended stoves are the leading causes of kitchen fires. In 2016, there were 63,000 kitchen fires, 700 deaths, 6,500 in injuries, and $3.7 billion worth of property damage. Um, unattended stoves are especially um, relevant for elderly as 56% of um, cooking fire death victims are um, people over the age of 55. So my goal is to create a device that can make cooking, especially for the elderly, um, safer and to prevent cooking fires in general. My device needs to be able to t detect whether there's a stove fire, um, detect if there's any motion, and contact the a resident through SMS or email, as well as set off a small alarm near the kitchen. It needs to be cheap, easy to use, um, and not really big. And it also needs to be able to attach in the wall or ceiling near the stove. I used an Arduino board, which is a, micro, um, a microcontroller. I used an Arduino flame module, which senses IR light, um, which is a light that's emitted by fire. Um, there's a buzzer that can, uh, it's an audio signaling device, so it creates noise. Um, a PIR sensor, which is passive infrared, uh, it can detect motion, and a GSM module um, is a, mo a mobile communication modem. So um, first, the flame module will sense for fire, the PIR sensor will sense for motion, and if there's a fire detected, um, and there's no motion detected, then um, my device will start to track, some t um, track how much time has passed. And if 10 minutes pass and um, no motion is detected, but there's still the stove detected, um, then um, the text message will be sent, the buzzer will go off, and the LED will um, flash. Um, first, my uh, device will sense for fire and sense for motion. And if there's fire but no motion detected, it will start to, um, it will either begin a timer or continue the timer. But if the, if the fire isn't detected or there's motion detected, that means, which would mean there is someone there attendant like cooking the fire, then the timer will be reset to zero. And um, it will also check the time and if the time exceeds the time limit, it will set off the buzzer and LED as well as send the text message. So um, I calculated the, the bulk cost and um, single price, single component price cost from buying off of Amazon. So um, if you buy each, if you buy a single um, piece of each component, the total cost is around $35 and uh, it's $35.76. But if you buy, if you buy them in bulk packs, um, the total bulk price for 30 would be um, $622.10, which, um, which is about $20.74 per, um, per device. So um, other products that are out in the market, uh, one of them is the 2GIG stove and grill guard sensor. So this, um, this senses, uh, this you install it inside the knob of a grill or stove. And instead of sensing for a fire, it senses how much the knob is turned. Um, it's water resistant and the battery lasts for five years, but the battery is not replaceable. It requires a very specific security plant panel. So if you don't have this, that specific security panel, you can't use the device and it needs to be dis, um, installed inside the stove knob. Um, a similar one, uh, a different one is the iGuard stove. Um, this one is much more advanced. It can shut off the stove after five minutes automatically, but there's also many different locks and settings. So it can like it can uh, prevent the stove from turning on at all during the night or um, something like that. There's smart. Uh, you can monitor it on your smartphone or a smart device, but um, you need to install it inside the wall, and it costs from five hundred ninety-five dollars to seven hundred and twenty-five dollars. 
So my first prototype was about um, five, five inches by eight inches long, and there was no PIR sensor or GSM um, in it, so it couldn't detect motion or um, and it couldn't send any text. Um, and it would only flash and beep if a flame was detected. Um, so right now, uh, it's a little smaller at approximately uh, seven by three inches. Um, but in my future, for future goals, um, so currently I have a GSM module, but I haven't been able to get it to actually uh, send text successfully. So I want to have it have a successful way to contact the resident. And I also want to have a more precise or sensitive way to detect a stove fire. And I, um, I want to make it a little easier to use and uh, by installing um, or by putting in an LCD and a number keypad so that you can um, input your phone number. And I also want to add a 3D printed uh, shell. Nice job, Sophie. So one thing I would just mention is um, when talking about the other competitors, just try to summarize the stuff and not go too into detail, because there is a time limit on the presentation next week. But yeah, we'll take um, maybe one or two questions from the judge judging panel. Uh, I thought the idea was really great, and it definitely addresses a huge need. And you might, I think an area where you could expand this might be more in common areas, like dorm kitchens and places where people might not be as caring and as thoughtful. Uh, one question would be, uh, how far away from the stove does the sensor need to be? If it's, is it more of a heat sensor? Um, it senses the IR light that's emitted by, um, by stoves. So uh, the sensor that I'm using, it's not that strong, but it can still sense probably um, at least a few feet. Yeah, I think that's a great idea in particular uh, for uh, early people, I, I think uh, there is a really a uh, crucial need for, you know, uh, some of those uh, uh, security or, or like, you know, uh, safety measures. Um, the, uh, I would say, kind of messaging uh, system probably could also reflect the needs of the early people because if you, you know, trigger an alarm, that may not be uh, really the best option for them, right? Uh, sometimes it's a rather... Uh, I'll say, uh, you know, a reminder or some kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, messaging that, you know, provide assistance for them is uh, are more valuable. Yeah, two, two quick, quick things. Um, first, uh, I think this is an excellent idea, but I have questions as to how this would work for certain recipes where you need to let something simmer for, you know, three or four hours. Uh, um, you know, would they be contacted every 10 minutes during that time period? Um, the other question I have is, uh, if I'm understanding it correctly, your invention works uh, based on uh, flames, uh, which would apply to gas stoves. Does it also work for electric stoves? Mr. Werner likes to cook a lot, so he would know. <laughs> um, I would have to look into that. Um, but it's, it's like, it's, it is slightly heat-based, so... I think it probably would. All right. Great job, Sophie. Nice job.